Welcome XPS users. Here we're going to look at creating athlete reports. So we're going to do a quick tutorial here and I'll jump straight into it. So from monitoring, we're going to go create new and we click create athlete or individual report. And then we're going to get this template here where we're in edit mode. And we can tell that by looking at the grid where we have some options to click and, and add some widgets. We can add some extra tabs and then we can add some profile information here in the header. So you've got a few options. You can give the report a name. You can choose which team you're going to be working with. And you can also decide the date range of how you want to view your data. So if you want your report to go over a whole year, you could choose custom and then you could go and view by this year. So for this case, we'll just go to monthly. And if I click stop editing, it will take me back to view mode. And then if I want to continue editing, I can just go to the three dots over to the side here. So getting started, I'll press the edit button underneath my player's name because I want to add some information. So we'll go information here and I'll add their year of birth. And the club is also interested in looking at their highlights package, which we also have here. So this is already information that's been stored in the system. So make sure that before you're setting up your reports, you at least have some data in there, or you could set them up beforehand as a template. Now I'm going to create our attendance report. So I'm going to click the plus in the grid, go create new and then key values. I'm going to give this a name. We'll go attendance report from my data. I can select attendance and then decide the total practices for all teams. I might want to decide the total practice attendance percentage and we'll add a few more values in here. So once we click save and close, we have our key values here and we can drag this out from the bottom of the grid to make it look how we wish. And if I wanted to edit this at all at any stage, I can just go back to the three dots, edit my widget, and maybe we want to have four columns instead of three. So we can save and close or change any of the other data. Great, that looks good. Now to finish off my attendance tab, uh, I'm going to add a attendance log. So we can call this just exactly what it is, attendance log, and we can decide we want to have practices, games, and events on the log and for all teams. We can save and close this drag it out to fill up the whole screen. And now if I click stop editing and look at view mode, I've got an attendance report and an attendance log that I can look at for my players. And I can click between and view all of their different stats. Great, so let's change the name of tab one here by clicking the plus button down here. And we'll call this attendance. And one more that's gonna be called 12 week review. And of course, this is going to depend on what you guys are trying to achieve and what you want to look at. So you can call it whatever you like. But for these purpose, I'm going to use readiness, create a new combined test, choose the circle chart, locate my readiness, which shows off to the side here. And I can click on and off the, the subtests, save and close. And now I've got my readiness circles. And maybe I want to pair this with a a spider graph that compares my readiness to the rest of the team. So let's add in a new combined test again. But instead of circle chart, we're going to choose the radar chart. Choose readiness again. And you'll see here that it gives a similar value, but it's scoring it on this type of graph and we can show the team average. And now we've got two points of reference to look at our readiness results. I can go one step further and then I can add a table, which is going to show me the daily log of every time the player entered or didn't enter their readiness. So let's create a new table with periodization. And in our columns, we can add tests and look for our readiness just there. And then we might want to add all of the sub tests as well. So just bear with me and I'll type those in. Awesome. And now that I have all of my subtests in there as well, I can see what the values are going to be. So maybe I choose to have text values instead of numbers because in the readiness, it shows 
the words, which we would prefer, and we keep the readiness score as an overall number. Now, we can add things like coloring. So for the readiness, we can decide red, yellow, and green, green for higher, red for low. And if I add coloring for all of the other options as well, we can do the same. And now I have a complete table of every day in the month showing me the overall score and the entries that the athlete had for those subtests. So that's readiness completed and we can move on to training load. So for our training load, we want to create what we call an acute chronic chart. It's usually set up in this way by default, so you don't really have to touch it. And when I hit save and close, it should show whether my athlete's been overtraining or undertraining, depending on the training load input that they give through our forms. And maybe I want to put a table underneath that compares the training load values to the readiness score. So we can kind of have this overall look. So let's look at table with periodization. We don't have to worry about the title. Let's look at readiness. And then we can also look at training load, the total load and the score. Add in some coloring. We can add the standard deviation and averages as well if you want to. Save and close this. And now we can see the training load inputs and the readiness inputs side by side. We should actually set up the training load in reverse colors. So red should actually be a higher value. So let's go change that and edit the widget. Let's go down to total load and just flip the colors. So red is then displaying for a higher number. Moving on, we're just going to look at the 12 week review and here we've got some information items where we ask athletes for feedback and we also have coach feedback. So I'm going to create a new information log and I'm going to link it to the 12 week player review and I've got a few different inputs here and once that's completed, I can open up and see the inputs from the player in terms of the reflection and then from the staff. So straight away, as soon as players are going to be filling out forms that we send them, depending on what tests and information we put into the forms, they will display here on our reports. So within a few minutes, we've created a complete report for a player and all of the values will be different depending on the input for your players. And just keep in mind that this is a quick overview video. We do have in-depth breakdowns of each widget, which you'll be able to watch in other tutorials.